What's going on, y'all? See, look, I'm giving y'all an extra video today because I was supposed to do this over the weekend and I just lost track of time and forgot, actually. But shout out to James Caldwell. He, excuse me, he hit me up in my Facebook and, you know, asked me if I would do this video, whatever. It's a tag video. I do tag videos sometimes. Sometimes I don't have the time, but it's a cute little video, um, cute little tag called Are You Shady? Go to his channel. If you want to do it, you can do it. Go to his channel and um, look up the video, Are You Shady? And he has 10 questions in his um, more info box. So let's get started. Are you shady? Okay. Question number one, do you consider yourself to be a shady person? Be honest. Yes, the fuck I do. You know, I've been told that, you know, see, that's why shit happened because you shady as fuck and all this stuff. I was like, oh, okay, you know, people, when they don't want to hear the truth, oh, it's shady and all this stuff. There's a difference between bad shade and there's a difference between fun, good shade. I'm the fun, good shade, okay? I don't shade people just to shade people, all right? But, yes, I do consider myself a shady person, and I'll tell that right out of my mouth, okay? Y'all know, if you watch me and you've been watching me for years, you know I'm actually a shady bitch in a minute, you know? Number two. Do you screen your calls or do you just pick up? If I don't know the number and I'm not expecting a call from somebody that's not programmed in my phone, hell no, I'm not going to pick up. If it says unknown, hell no, I'm not going to pick up. If it says private and if I know somebody, hell no, I'm not, I'm not going to pick up. If you don't text me, I don't have your number or whatever, or you change your number and you text me and be like, girl, I'm going to call you or whatever, pick up the number, it's going to show up private or whatever, then I answer the phone. Other than that, if it ain't a number that I recognize and if I just don't feel like talking to you, I won't pick up, all right? On a scale to 1 to 10, how much do you like spending time alone? I'm an um, introvert, you know, so I give a brown like an 8, 8 and a half, damn near 9. I can spend my time alone and all that shit. I really don't like being around a lot of people. I really don't like crowds. I really don't. You know, one or two people, that's cool and everything, but we don't got to kick it all the damn time. We don't. You know, you can go do your shit. I can go do mine. I don't need to know what you're doing every single day. You don't need to come over every single day unless you're my um, girlfriend. Other than that, I don't. Mm -mm. I'm fine with being by myself. I really am. Number four, how do you handle pop-up visits to your home? I don't answer the door. There's a rule. And hear me now. You do not come to my house if I don't know that you're not coming. If you're, not, if you're supposed to be coming. You need to call me. Okay, and let us know that you're coming over. And I have to give you the permission, like, okay, you can come on over because um, one day you're going to pop up and ain't nobody going to be here to answer the door for you. You're just going to be standing outside looking stupid. Or you're going to pop up and I didn't know that you was coming and you're just going to be standing outside looking stupid. Okay, I'm just that type of person. I ain't trying to be mean or nothing, but I don't like when people just pop up. Like, how do you know if I'm... <laughs> If I'm here for visitors right now, you know, that's family or friends. Like, don't just pop up. I can be sick as fuck just because I ain't tell you whatever. Or, you know, some shit can just be going on. I just want to be having a relaxing time. I don't feel like talking to nobody. Like, don't pop up like that. Number five, how many extreme pet peeves would you say that you possess? <sighs> a lot of stuff gets to me real quick. And I can't put a number on it. I hate when people make body noises. I hate when people... um. I just hate a lot of stuff. I hate when people say the wrong shit at the wrong time. It, I just hate a lot of stuff. Like, it irks me when people do certain things. Like, I'm the type of person that I know what irks me. And if I see something, I can be like, oh, that shit just... I heard one pet peeve of mine is voice and stuff like that. If your voice is irritating and fuck to me... I just can't do it. I just can't. I'm, I'm I'm attracted to sound and stuff like that. And if it's if it, if it's just a disgusting ass sound, I just can't. Like some people voice, they be annoying as hell. They probably be a cool ass person, but they voice just annoying as hell. And I just can't see myself. You know, I probably missed out on some friendships or whatever. But unless you really, really cool and your personality really, really step out, then I can see myself doing that. But other than that, like sound and shit, child. Too many to damn count. Too many to damn count. I hate when people assume shit. I hate when people lie. I hate when people aren't honest. I hate when people, you know, say they're going to be somewhere and they're not. 
it's just a lot. Y'all just sitting there like, girl, I understand because I'm the same damn way. Yes. Okay. It's too many to fucking name. And sometimes you realize that you don't even have a pet peeve until it comes up. And you be like, this shit right here, this the shit I don't like. Okay. <laughs> um, Number six, what is your number one pet peeve and why? I hate when people assume shit. Do not assume stuff about me. Do not assume that I said something. Come to the source and don't come and ask somebody else. Don't go ask somebody else what did I say and um get a secondhand account probably from somebody who didn't even know or didn't even hear it and I never spoke to. Come to me personally. That's what I cannot stand. Do not make assumptions. If I tweet something, I tweet it. Okay, if I wanted to say something about a person or post something about a person, I would put their name up in it. But other than that, a bitch ain't, uh, bi- people don't be on my mind or whatever, so don't assume. I just hate that, and I see that a lot when I be on social media. Like, damn, we got to the point where I can't even tweet about something without a fucking troll popping up in my Twitter and my mentions saying, oh, you talking about this person? No, the fuck I'm not. Okay, so y'all may think these people are y'all lives or whatever, but I mm, no. Okay, moving on. Just I just hate when people assume in anything, but anything. Just ask me first before you make that assumption. Um, what is the worst gift you've ever received? <sighs> to be honest, my auntie gave me this keychain as a, a gift or some shit, and I forgot what it was for, but. I ain't trying to be ungrateful, but she gave my other sisters and stuff, like, and it was like a fake-ass keychain, too. And I was like, what's the meaning behind that? Because I just wasn't getting it, you know. Um, She gave them money and shit and all that stuff, and I got a fucking keychain and all that stuff. So I felt the type of way. I ain't gonna say that's the worst gift, but that's the one of the gifts that I felt the type of way. Like, I've been sad at her the whole time, and then the keychain broke. It broke! So I've been sad at her for the longest, like, now you know you can afford more, but you know beggars can't be choosers, and I wasn't begging, and I ain't asked for it, you know, she she just gave it to me, but you know, when you see somebody else around you getting something better, you just look like a keychain girl, okay, but um, that was one, (laughs) gal like, bitch, you petty as hell ungrateful bitch I'm, I'm just saying i felt the way i'm gonna be honest i'm being honest number eight how often do you find yourself in tears not often i mean i i'm not a crier like that the last time i did cry was because i got some news about um someone close to me and someone i care about a lot and it just hit me real hard because the person is so young going through what they're going through. And, yeah, I shed some tears about that. But other than that, and prior before that, I haven't cried in a long time. And I still haven't cried after that. You know, I got that out of my system. And that was it. Um, number nine, how did your, how long did your worst relationship last? A few months. A few months. Almost a year. And it was such a bullshit-ass relationship. I wouldn't even call it a fucking relationship. Okay, it was just, that person was, you know when you be in a situation where you don't really, you try to develop some feelings, but you just can't, mm, you can't get there. And I've never, until I've been, I'm in a relationship now, as you all may know, and I can honestly say that I'm in love and I love her. Prior to that, I've never, ever said those words to another person, and if I did say it to somebody that I was in a relationship, I didn't mean it. All right, and... Um, the last one, the worst relationship, I was probably just there to be there to just say that I was doing something. That was it, you know, and it was just, it was just a waste of time. It really was. Um, number 10 in the last question, who ended the relationship and did you guys remain friends? I ended the relationship and I ended it through a text message. Okay. I'm not going to even fucking lie. I ended it. I know y'all like, bitch, you fucked up. Yes, I am. I ended it through a text message and like, look, you know, this ain't going to work. Um, we can be cool or whatever, but this ain't going to work. And we tried it again for a second. And no, 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 no. The first time was through an email. The second time we tried for like a couple of, a little bit. And then for a month or so. And I was just like, girl, what am I doing? And I said, look, bitch, no, let me tell you something. 
this ain't gonna work, but we can be cool if you want to. And she was like, fine or whatever, but we really haven't really spoken after that. So it is what it is. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this. I know y'all like this bitch. You such a nigga. I know. I know. I know. If you want to do the tag video, do the tag video. Or you can just leave your answers to the comments. If you don't want to actually do a video, put it in the comments. Because I want to see what y'all got to say. I'll see y'all later on today for Love and Hip Hop and um, Black and Crew. And I'll see y'all later.